Hey everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you how to RNG manipulate your trainer ID and secret ID in Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. Now, if you want to do this in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, please check out my video on those games. They are slightly different than this method. With that being said, uh, let's go over why you would want to do this. So, I think this is useful for three main reasons. One, if you want to RNG manipulate Shinies, you need to know your trainer ID and secret ID combo. And you can just do this at the start of a game when you make a new game, so you can RNG Shinies along your journey. Number two, is because the PID, which is the value that is checked against your trainer ID and secret ID to see if a Pokemon is shiny is locked to specific IV combos. That means it is very unlikely if you want a specific IV comboed Pokemon that any random trainer ID and secret ID will get that to be shiny. For example, I want a, a four IV or five IV, depending on how you count it, shiny Cresselia, but any trainer ID and secret ID isn't going to give me that. So I have to be picky and RNG a trainer ID and secret ID to do that for me. And third and final, you could use this to get fun custom trainer IDs, uh, stuff like uh, 420 or like your birthday or something funny like that. So with that being said, let's go over what you're going to need to do. So in game, you're going to want to get to the tile screen here and then hit up, select and B. Now it'll ask you to delete your save data. Just click yes. You have to do this step because if you try and start a new game and then save without deleting the old save file save data, you actually can't save the game. And so any work you would have done would not be saved. Okay, out of game, you're going to need two programs. You're going to need Eon Timer by Das Anfros, which we'll take a look at over here. You're going to want to make sure you're in the Gen 4 tab. Then you're going to want to click this settings preference. Click the timer tab and make sure you have the console properly selected. There's going to be a few options for you. NDS is the original DS or a DS Lite. DSi is a DSi or a DSi LL. And 3DS is a 3DS, 3DS XL, new 3DS, new 3DS XL, or a 2DS or new 2DS or new 2DS. DSXL. I'm playing on a DS, so I will select that. As for calibrated delay, set that to 600, set the calibrated seconds to 14, and target delay and target seconds we will deal with later. Now, on to Pokefinder. So the first thing we're going to do is show you how you can figure out what uh, Pokemon you want shiny. So we're going to click the Gen 4 tab, and then we're going to click Static. Now, in here, you're going to want to make sure you have a profile set up that is uh, of the correct game. So if you haven't done that already, you can click Manager, and a Manager will pop up, and click New, and a, a another window will pop up and then just set the game up so you could just click platinum if you're doing platinum or diamond or pearl and then just hit okay i'm not going to hit okay because i already have a platinum profile but you need to make sure the correct game is selected even if it is not the uh you know this the profile you're going to use in the end so i'm going to click this platinum save file and then we're going to click the searcher tab now there's three different methods here you're going to ignore wonder card ivs this is only the ivs of a wonder card not the personality value you can't rng that on a wonder card so we're going to take a look at method one or method j method one is for for uh, gift Pokemon or roaming Pokemon. So it is stuff like the starter, the Eevee, the fossil, or the roaming Pokemon like the legendary birds, like Mesprit, or like Cresselia, which is what I'll be aiming for. Then there's method J. This is all other static encounters of Pokemon that don't move. So stuff like um, Di uh, Palkia or Dialga in this game, uh, or the other two lake spirits like Mesprit or Uxie. Now, if you wanted to do a wild Pokemon, you totally can. You would just click the wild button instead. So what once you figure out what method you're going to be using, I'll be using method one because I want a roamer. Uh, you could select your lead, which is if you're going to use Cute Charm or Synchronizer. I'm going to use none. Min delay and max delay. Max delay is basically how long you're willing to wait at the um, save file select screen uh, and how many how long that is. I usually don't keep this above 5,000. Minimum delay for Diamond Pearl Plat should be around 600. Min advance and max advance. This is how many chat out flips you're willing to do to do your RNG manipulation. I usually keep that at around 100. For the filters, there's IVs, ability, gender, gender ratio, shiny, hidden power, and nature. Shiny we're going to keep at any because we're going to be making this spread shiny so it will not be shiny already for us uh Cresselia only has one ability one gender so i'm not going to mess with those either and i don't want a specific hidden power i do want a sassy nature though so i'll click that and then i'll put in the ivs that i want and i want zero speed and then i will hit search to see if we can find anything and so there are a few options here uh, i'll be going with this option here because it has a really really low attack it has a one attack so we're gonna hit control uh so we're gonna take a look at these and what the, the, the most important thing to keep in mind is the seed so we're gonna hover the seed or not the seed excuse me this is the pid not the seed we want to hover the pid and hit control c then what we're gonna do is go back to the poke finder main window and click the tid sid button once you're in here, you can paste your PID here. Then search for TID is if you want a custom TID. Now you could try searching for a custom TID uh, along with a specific PID, but you're very rarely going to find that. So I suggest either going for a custom TID or for a specific PID. Uh, I'm just be going for a specific PID. For the year, set that to whatever year you want. I'm doing 2022. The min delay, I'm going to set at like 6250, I would say. And then you're going to click the infinite search button and then hit search. So you're going to get a bunch of results very, very quickly. And I'm just going to cancel that. Now at this point, 
you just want to look for any ID that you find interesting or any ID that you want, although they're all going to be totally acceptable. I will set this to... I usually like low numbers. I saw 120 somewhere. Yeah, we'll go with this one. So with this one, we're going to click the seed and then we're going to hit Control C. Then what we're going to do is go back to the main window and we're going to click Gen 4 Tools and click Seed to Time. In Seed to Time, make sure DPP is selected and paste your seed here. Then hit Generate. Now you're going to be given a bunch of options with a specific delay and these are all date and times that you could launch your DSA. So I usually like to scroll through a date and time that, you know, maybe is my birthday or something like that. See if I can find something fun. Mm, can't find my birthday, I don't think, but we'll just go with birth month. We will do this one. Seems fine to me. So now what we're going to have to do is set our date and time and Eon timer according to these two pieces of information. So we'll go and do that right now. So for the date, it is 6 8 2022 so i'll set that now and for the time it is 22 hours zero minutes and 19 seconds so we're going to set 22 hours zero minutes and 19 seconds so in eon timer we're going to do for target second 19 as it says and for target delay you can see here it says uh, 6266 so we're going to do that in our target delay now if we take a look in eon timer itself you notice it says minutes before target is two so that actually means we're going to be doing 21 hours and then we'll go one two behind 58 minutes because that's two minutes before 22 uh, hours and zero minutes at this point we are about ready to start the rng manipulation so all we need to do is start our eon timer at the same time as we confirm the uh, date and time so we'll do that now eon timer is going to begin oh. Okay, so now we want to start Eon Timer at the same time as we confirm our date and time. So we're going to do that. So hit A and start at the same time. Now what we need to do is go back to the main menu. And Eon Timer is going to begin counting down. Now there's two countdowns here. The first countdown is for when you should launch the game. So when this timer finishes, I will hit A to, to boot the game up here. If you're playing on a 3DS or a DSi, I suggest launching the game immediately. And then when this timer finishes counting down, soft reset. But I won't be doing that. After that, you're gonna wanna play through the intro as fast as possible. Name yourself, name your rival, etc. And this is why you wanna delay that is like at minimum 6250 because uh, you know, you want to make sure that you have enough time to get through the intro. The Heart Gold and Soul Silver intro is relatively short, but this intro, I would say, is not. So as you play through the intro, I like to hold B and mash A. You're also going to want to make sure that you hit no info needed from this guy. And then just play through the intro. All right, and what you're naming, what you want to do is get to the TV screen. So you just mash through all this dialogue here. And you want to get to the screen where, I believe in Diamond and Pearl, it says Red Gyarados. And in this game, it just talks about Professor Oak or something. You typically need at like minimum 10 seconds left on your timer when the, the screen starts to fade black. Even now, I think I'm cutting it kind of close. So I hit A, and now what we're going to do is just check our trainer ID and secret ID to see what we hit. And you probably missed it the first time, and that's totally fine. We are going to cover for that by adjusting. All right, so we hit 43850, and we were aiming for 4316. Oh, no, we were aiming for 120 as the TID. That's the seed. Ha. So what we're going to do is go over to the TID obtain section and put 43850. 
Then for the date and time, we're going to put in what we were doing. So we were doing 2022. We were doing June. And I believe we were doing June 8th. I can check seed to time really quick. Yeah, June 8th. Oh, I need to reset. Okay. June 2022. We're doing the 8th. The time was uh, 22 hours and 0 minutes. The minimum delay, we'll set it to 6,000. The maximum delay, we will set it to 8,000. 8,000 is pretty high. We could set it to 7,000. Then we're going to click find, and a result should pop up. So a few things to note here. We know we hit this delay, which is 6,215, or, uh, and we were aiming for 6,266. So we were quite early. So I'm going to paste that into Eon Timer in the delay hit section, and then I'm going to click update, and it'll change the calibrated delay for us. As for the second, we were aiming for 19 seconds. We hit 18 seconds, which is this little second here. So, uh, you know, if you are one early, sometimes what you could do in Eon Timer is uh, change this to be 20 seconds, and then you would hit 19 seconds. But I only typically do that if I, yeah, if I like make if I if I do this many times. So if I end up hitting 18 seconds more than once, I will do that. In addition, we aimed for an even delay, 6266, but we hit an odd delay, 6215. So I will show you how to deal with that because you have to do something to change it. If you hit even delays, typically you can only hit even delays. And if you hit odd delays, typically you can only hit odd delays. So now we're just going to give it another go. Uh, I've done update with my calibrated delay, and I'm going to do some checks here. So 21, 58, and give it a go. Now, it's important when you're doing this run to try and name yourself and your rival the same thing in the same way, vaguely every single time. Hopefully you get faster doing the intro every single time you do it as well. This is something that, you know, the Diamond and Pearl intro is pretty hard for me to go through. The, the touch screen thing annoys me. And it's also quite long. So I'm going to name myself, and here's where we're going to switch the delay. So what we're going to do is switch it back to uppercase, and then hit OK. And that's all you need to do. Now that'll switch me from an, ev uh, from an odd delay to an even delay. And that's all you got to do. Now we can check. We hit the trainer ID already, 120. So what we can do just to confirm that we did everything is take a look at this seed finder here. Uh, so TID finder, we're going to type 120, leave all the other information the same and hit find. You can see that's the only possible option. And there you have it. So what you're going to want to do in game is save your work <laughs> to make sure that you don't lose all of this hard info that you've done. And then the last thing we want to do is double check to make sure that we've done all of the um TID SID stuff up properly. So let's open up the static window again and we're gonna make a new profile. Right? So I'm gonna click manager, I'm gonna click new, and I'm gonna name the profile Bliss uh, 120 as the TID. We're gonna set this to platinum, dual slot, I have nothing in, and then the TID is 120, and the secret ID that I was aiming for was Five zero eight four six eight four six. Then we're gonna click OK, and then we're gonna click Done. Now we're gonna drop down and click the new profile that we've just made, and hit Search again. And as you can see, the spread that we aimed for was in fact shiny. In addition to that, usually if you uncheck this but you set this to be shiny, uh, you'll see the other nature that you've gotten. So as you can see here, I have a Brave uh, one that is the same IVs uh, and is also shiny, although Brave with one attack, not very good. But what are you going to do about that? So I hope this was helpful to you all. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next video. I just want to give a big shout out to all of my channel members. Thank you guys so much. Without your support, I wouldn't be able to produce as many videos as I do, and I wouldn't be able to stream as much as I am. I'm trying to get to 75 channel members, so if this video was helpful and you enjoyed it, please consider becoming a member by clicking the join button down below. 
and I want to do a big shout out to my Blist God tiered members, Shadow Blitz 56 and RLIZT. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. You guys are amazing and generous, and I will see you all next video.